How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great summer with family and friends so far. Today, I decided to film in Average Joe's office slash studio. The reason I decided to do this is because I just moved into this space and I was looking for a lot of ideas on how I should sort of place things and what I should put in it. And I started following a lot of like setup stuff on Instagram as well as office tours on YouTube. And I quickly realized that I just really don't have the money to do the same thing that these other people are doing. And probably neither does anybody else. So that's why I decided to film this office tour 2023 in my new space of stuff that I already owned or I just bought for minimal expense. But wait, there's more. It just occurred to me, if you can't tell, this is editing me. While I'm editing this video, it occurred to me that maybe I wasn't super clear about what I just said. Um, the purpose of this video was to encourage you to use what you already have available to you to create if you're moving into a new space or rearranging a space. So um, I don't really talk about the stuff that I already owned. I just talked about what I bought to fill the gaps and you'll see a title like this and a little dollar ka sign thing for the things that I bought to fill this new space everything else I already had so if you want a video of me going into more depth about the stuff I already have let me know in the comments below I will warn you that a lot of it I bought used on places like OfferUp and I really don't know much about it or what the model like this desk I have no idea what kind of desk it is I just found it and liked it so um, anyway I just wanted to make that clear let's get back to the rest of the video Alright, so I'm going to start off a tour by talking about the color. The color of the walls is Studio Clay by Sherwin-Williams, and I love this color. Not only did it end up complementing everything that I have in the room, including the large map that you'll see on the left, I'll talk more about that later, but it does a really great job of reflecting the natural daylight that comes in while also being dark enough to allow me to close the blinds and then use controlled lighting for a lot of my YouTube videos without being too dark and cave-like. Which is strange saying that that because the walls are gray. Here's some more examples of that, but it really does work really well. And you might notice that there's some brown undertones to the paint as well. That's nice because it does a really good job of reflecting the incandescent lights that I use for practicals in my YouTube videos, as well as reflecting flickering flames from the candles that I have in the office like this. I do work from home in IT full time, so creating a mood or an ambiance like this is really nice for me to work to throughout the day. Once again, this is Studio Clay by Sherwin-Williams. All right, so coming into the office, you will see that I've got a picture of downtown Los Angeles here shot from an area known as Ella Park. I think it complements the gray walls really well, and I'm really proud of this photo. I'm a big fan of printing and hanging your own work to keep you inspired. I'm also really proud of my bachelor's degree that is hanging there, and I've got these lamps underneath on a $25 bookcase from Target that I've had for years, and then I've got some books here that I used in college. I actually reference these a lot more than you'd think. However, I don't really read them anymore. And then again, there's those lamps I've had for years. And this is strategically placed directly across from my webcam. And that is because I work in IT full time and I work with a lot of different departments that I've never met before to go over systems and new systems that we've implemented. And having the studious corner across from the webcam I hope gives them some sort of confidence in me. Next we've got this beautiful old United States map. This was given to me by my mom. She originally gave it to my dad, however he never did anything with it. And when I was younger, like 10 or 11, I was taking a lot of the boyish stuff off my walls and I didn't know what to put there. My mom said, hey, I think I've got something for you. She brought this up from the basement, hung it on the wall, and it's been with me ever since. And it will be with me until the end because I love this. I love the colors. I love the Indiana Jones vibes. I love everything about it.
All right, so next we've got this little seating area that I put together here. I've got an old ottoman I've had for years that has some storage in it. I use it to put my feet on when I'm reading some books. I put this area together so that I can read and have some guests over. This is a $150 glow style love seat from Ikea. I tried to no avail to find something in a secondhand store or an app to put there, but it's okay because 90% of the time you're going to see my dog on there anyway, which is fine because I love having her in here as a work from home buddy. But as you can see, it does work really nice as a little seating area for my friends, myself, other collaborators, etc. That brings me to this side table that I got for $55 from Amazon. It's a nice little addition to the seating area where somebody can put their drink, read a book, look at my Los Angeles book for inspiration, and it also has electricity running through it so I can put this sort of charging station out of sight. But that kind of completes this little area here. I think it's really nice addition to the room. I like how the colors sort of flow with the paint choice and I don't know, I just kind of got lucky. It just kind of worked out. Now we've got this mirror that I've had since I was like five in my bedroom. I use it to check myself for all these YouTube videos, make sure I'm fresh and looking good. That is a total lie. I actually just hung it there because I didn't have anything else to put there and it kind of brightens up that corner. And I've got the walnut Becky and Chris hooks for my bags that actually match the mirror, which just kind of worked out well. I love these Mission Workshop bags. They are a little bit pricey, but I've had them for 10 years and the quality is absolutely amazing. I strategically placed them on this wall right next to my horribly organized gear closet at the moment. I might do a video of this at a later time, how I, you know, figure out how I'm going to organize it. I have no idea, but it will be nice, but it makes it easy to have my bags right there so I can load and unload them for my photo adventures. All right, next we have another $25 bookcase from Target. It has a lot of my current readings in it, as well as some of my reoccurring, re I don't know. I don't really know how to describe that, but stuff I read every year for inspiration. And for a second, I'm going to spotlight this little $12 TJ Maxx lamp that I got on clearance. Somebody must have returned it. I like the uniqueness of it. Also, it's a good example of the studio clay paint reflecting the light bulb. It's a Gustav Klimt Beechwood Forest painting. And then you can see some of my little doodads. I was a big fan of the Big Bang Theory. That's why the Geiger counter's there. For those of you that know, you know. If you don't, I'm sorry. You have to watch the show. Right behind the door, we've got my tourist giraffe painting. I love that painting. It makes me happy, so I naturally needed to hang it in my office. This is a, another TJ Maxx clearance find because it had a crack in the leg. I think it's a cabinet, like a floor cabinet. It houses all of my candles because I like to have my office smelling good, as well as creating this ambiance while I'm working from home. Now coming to the Aperture 60X that I've had for a while, this is the main key light for all my YouTube videos on a $35 Amazon Basics light stand. Now I built it around this because I wanted to be able to move the light to light different areas of the room because I can use them for different filming angles like this one. Now the love seat is a nice addition and it also makes three different filming angles in this office. As you can see here, I'm using the natural light from the window to key off of, but I can also shut the blinds or do this at night with a 60X as a key light. I can also film here at my desk where you can see I'm using the window as a key and in this clip I'm using it as a backlight and I really should be using the 60X as a fill. Here is going to be my new main setup during the day. And then here we are at night using the 60X as a key. All right, moving on to my floating shelf here. I've got some vintage camera gear that has been in the family for years. All of this still works and a lot of it still gets used on a regular basis. But as you can see, it also makes a really nice decoration and a nice touch as a backdrop for my YouTube videos. This floating shelf was given to me by a friend that was going to throw it into a yard sale and I was like, nope, I can use that and I know exactly where and what I'm going to put on it. Over here in this corner, we've got another painting of palm trees and a sunset, which is synonymous with LA and I love it. And we've got these cheap, uh, I think these were $35 Kipo pegboards from Amazon. 
they are adhesive pegboards and they work out really nice actually I've loaded it up with quite a bit of weight and it's still there Alright, so here is an angle of my desk area as a whole and how I've put it together. You can see there is a little bit of space there between the monitor and the shelf. That is because I'm currently shopping for a third monitor and I put enough space to put a third monitor there, but I just don't know. If you have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments below and I will look into it because I really would like to have a third one there for a multitude of different reasons. All right, here's my new desk chair. This is an Arts Witch, Arts Witch? No, Arts Wish mid-century modern fake leather chair that I got off Amazon. It is a knockoff of the Ikea version. However, it's just as comfortable and half the price at $150. Then we have another view of my desk as a whole. You can see the microphone I'm using to narrate this and my desk mat from drop.com, which has an astronaut with his dog on the moon because I love dogs and space. And here from this view, you can see one of the first photographs I ever took of LA from Griffith Observatory. Um, that was long before I moved here, but I still find it very inspirational. Yeah, I think this came together pretty nice. Coming to the lamp here, the, this is a light fixture I bought for $65 from Ikea. It's called a Lure Drine or Lure Grind, something like that. Anyway, the shade is a little bit bigger than I initially thought it would be, so I have to tell my tall friends to watch their heads when they come over and visit, but I love the way it looks and how it kind of ties the room together and it matches all the colors. All right, so here's one last shot of the office as a whole. Please let me know in the comments how this video sort of stacks up against all the other office tours or office build outs you've seen. As you can see, I've used mostly stuff that I already owned and minimally spent money on this um, because I just really didn't have the funds, but I still think it turned out great. Me that I, I was wearing this shirt the whole time and that you might be wondering what, what it is. It's not actually what, it's, where's the fish? Life's good shirt. I like it. Interesting, huh? Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time, all right? Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye, YouTube.